The Wall Street Journal uncovering a slew of photographs from the private Instagram of Lev Parnas, an associate of Rudy Giuliani who was indicted in part for funneling foreign money into the coffers of a pro-Trump super PAC. The photos revealing the access Parnas had to the Trumps, despite the president's claims of ignorance that he had no idea who this guy was. Parnas photoed, posted photographs in 2018 of himself with Eric Trump, a picture he took with Donald Trump Jr., uh, Lev Parnas with President Trump himself as president. He also posted what appears to be a signed picture of President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump. The note reading in part, quote, to Lev Parnas, thank you for friendship and dedication to our cause. Uh, uh, let's discuss. So, Carrie, a lawyer for Parnas told the Wall Street Journal, it's no surprise he has pictures with Trump. He was a major donor. He was helping Rudy Giuliani represent the president. But it does seem like there's a little bit more of a relationship than we'd uh, been led to believe. The pictures look like more of a relationship, certainly uh, with the Trumps, but also with Rudy Giuliani. I think what we're learning more and more about is just how much these roles were intermingled. And that's the question, and then that's what's going to end up getting them into potential legal exposure, is there were all these different roles. So they were donors, um, they were making illegal donations, and according to the FBI in the original DOJ press release, uh, it wasn't just accidental wrong checking of a box on a form, but it was intentional and deliberate violations of law. So you have that, you have this business relationship, whatever it was with Rudy Giuliani. You have the fact that these individuals were playing some kind of role on the Trump legal team. Yeah. Um, and so there's just going to I think there's more to come in terms of understanding the scope of their criminal activity and then whether that is connected to Giuliani and potentially others. And Tulu, apparently these uh, Mensa members were also the guys leading uh, Giuliani around Ukraine and like trying to help him uncover dirt on uh, the president's political opponents. Yeah, it doesn't look good for the White House politically that not only do you have so many members of the president's inner circle who have already pleaded guilty or been convicted of crimes, but now you have another round uh, <laughs> after the Mueller report of uh, unseemly activity by the president's close advisors. Uh, Giuliani has said that he was acting on behalf of the president. That's been his d legal defense saying, you know, I can't be, you know, a foreign agent because I was acting on behalf of the president. But if you're also acting on behalf of these two men who are indicted by the uh, Justice Department. It doesn't look good for the White House and for the president. And Amanda, another uh, social media feed we're, we're learning about is one belonging to Republican Senator Mitt Romney. St Slate reporter Ashley Feinberg sleuthed and uh, using information from an Atlantic profile of Romney uncovered this now private account under the alias Pierre Delecto. Romney telling the Atlantic in response, is it him? He said, c'est moi. The joke notwithstanding, in here you can find Romney liking a tweet calling for impeachment. It says, quote, betraying an ally about the Kurds should be one of the articles of impeachment. Uh, I mean, the idea is you can actually get a real window into how Romney really feels, even though he's already emerged as one of the more outspoken Republicans in, in this era. He's even more outspoken as Pierre. Yeah, well, number one, props to Romney for owning it immediately. Um, that is refreshing. And I think we all see that he has largely a sympathetic figure. I mean, if you look at some of these likes he's issuing, he wants more credit for speaking out against the president and doesn't feel like he's getting it, primarily from conservative writers who are inclined to support him. And so, you know, Mitt Romney, maybe just need to make your voice a little bit louder. And what, and what, and what do you think of it all? Does it make you like him less, more? What do you think? Well, I think it's like letting the world into the dirty little secret we all have who have worked for politicians for a long time, which is that they're all sensitive. They never think they get enough credit. They're always a little mad at the press, but always want to be loved by the press. So that's what we see a little bit here. I do think it makes him uh, more sympathetic, not just because he is more forward-leaning on impeachment than even he is publicly, but because you're seeing a human side of him, and that's always appealing when it comes to politicians. My favorite was uh, Pierre Delecto liking a tweet by Devin Nunes' cow. <laughs> I like that one. Too. In which it was attacking Newt Gingrich for his various marital uh, affairs. Uh, welcome to Twitter, everyone. Well, welcome to 2019. Kudos, right.